So just pay attention and, and, and there's a lot more to come. So we'll start with up. Not too much to come. Not too much. We, I, we, we can't give away too much. Alright. So how many of you guys ever heard of the six human needs? Six human needs. No, it's not this. Six human needs, anybody? Okay, this will change your life. You? I don't know. Maybe a woman? <laughs> Titanic that we're on is headed for an iceberg. We are looking at some pretty bad stuff. We got crazy amounts of debt, um, student loans now, we face 1.2 trillion dollars of collective debt as a generation. That's uh, 30,000 per person. Um, it's pretty ridiculous and I'm sure that for a lot of you as you go into your graduation you'll have a higher amount of student debt. But the biggest thing that we're facing is what Adam was talking about, is the problems that we face of a millennial generation being branded as lazy and title. We don't want to work. We've talked to many CEOs, we've listened to people in the boomer generation, they all look at us like, these guys just don't get it. And if somebody does get it in this generation, a whole path will be cleared for them because there's so much opportunity out there. And they want to hand over all this money and opportunity to someone who's ready to go but they don't have a bench. They don't have a bench. That's always what we keep hearing from CEOs, senior HR people, is they don't have a bench. There's a gap between boomers and management and then the people that are coming in. And the reason why we're so wrong is because of a simple way of uh, human needs. Human needs are something that you do. There's always a need that you're trying to fill no matter what you do. Instant gratification. How many of you guys like to have Twitter, Instagram right away, all the time, checking in. How many of you check your Twitter and Instagram more than 10 times a day? Pretty much everybody, right? Okay, so there's a lot going on there. You wanna know what's going on right now. And what that is, you, you want certainty. You want certainty, you want something that's gonna happen right away that you don't have to wait for, it's gonna come right now. And that's a similar thing when you get into the job world. But things take time. Things are very uncertain. Projects don't always get the feedback where buyers don't always want to buy right away. And you gotta find out ways to deal with that uncertainty. So first human need is certainty. And it's the certainty that you can avoid pain and find ways to gain pleasure. And the easiest way to gain pleasure is instant gratification. Obviously it's through your quick Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, whatever it is, that's easy. When you're on a job, it's easy to gain pleasure by, instead of doing what you're supposed to do, you check your phone, texting someone, whatever it is. Certainty is number one. The second need is uncertainty. Uncertainty. And that is the need for variety and the ability to deal with things that aren't within your control, that are happening not on your time. Uncertainty is the key to our generation riding the ship, believe it or not. The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty that you can comfortably deal with. Write that down, etch it in your head, remember. The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty that you can comfortably deal with. Think about your favorite celebrities. Name, name one celebrity that you guys look up to, or a president, president that you look up to, someone in the public eye that you look up to. Kanye West, great. Kanye West is constantly chasing uncertainty. He, he faces public opinion, public ridicule. He's going on jet to jet every single night. He doesn't know if he's going to be safe going places. He's entering into places where the media is mobbing him at all times. He's entering contract negotiations where um, Def Jam might want to pay him 50 million, he might want 100. He might have to wait six months to get that 50 or 100, or he might have to talk to Sony or another record label. He has a tour that he's planning. He doesn't know how he's gonna get all the venues to do it, but he jumps ahead doing it anyways. Because he has all these opportunities in front of him, he's gonna go with the uncertainty. He's not afraid of all the lights in the town turning green before he leaves the house. 
Even if all the lights are red, he's still gone. He can deal with an incredible amount of uncertainty. And if you can deal with uncertainty, you can make a lot of money. You can be okay with things not being perfect and keep moving. That's the uncertainty that our generation can get towards. Number three need, love and connection. That's the, the thing that you want to connect with someone, you want to have a close relationship, you want to grow with that person, you want to have close friends, that's a need. Obviously you guys all have friends, you're all social. Number four, significance. Significance. That means you want to feel special. You want everybody to be liking your pictures. You want everybody to be favoring your status. You want to look like you got the best Halloween costume over everybody else. You want to be significant. You want people to praise you, look up to you, right? Number five, growth. Growth, you want to learn. You want to be able to feel like you're actually going somewhere, not that you're stagnant. Number six, contribution. Contribution to the world. Giving to something that's bigger than yourself. What do all rich people do when they have all their money? Bill Gates, what's he doing? No, Bill Gates is done. He's finding ways to contribute to the world, right? He's finding ways that he can give his money in the most effective way to change the world. He's filling his contribution because he's already filled all the others. Okay, so what are the magic combinations here that work for you that you really want to focus on going forward? on needs, and this will change your life. You focus every single day on filling these needs over all others when you go. Uncertainty, growth, contribution. Uncertainty, growth, contribution. What I mean by that is, what is happiness, guys? Can anybody give me a definition? What you think happiness is? Okay, being completely satisfied. Make someone else happy. Make someone else happy. Good. Contribution. Who else? Be just like meeting these things. Meeting these things, correct, yeah. Okay, scientifically and psychologically, what they say happiness is is progress on a worthwhile journey. Progress on a worthwhile journey. So that you can be satisfied with the progress you're making, you can be growing, okay? The journey is what we're gonna talk about a little bit as we go, but happiness equals what? Progress. What is progress? Progress is growth. And how does growth come from? What's the only need that you can have growth from? Out of the six. How can you fulfill growth? How can you grow and progress? What is the only need that can do that? There's no other need. Uncertainty. So uncertainty is the key to your happiness, guys. Uncertainty. <clears throat> Being comfortable with uncertainty. The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty you can comfortably deal with. 